September 26, 2018, mesh grow bags. Uh, we had like an inch of rain last night, over an inch, I think. Look how, look how much rain's in here. It was only up to about there, so we got well over an inch. And um, I have now, I believe, every stage of bamboo growing you could possibly have. And if you want to grow giant bamboo, this is how you can or should do it. This is my new lemongrass. Just got these the other day. Those are looking good, starting to come out of there. And Wow, well, like I said, we got an inch of rain last night. This here is a little bamboo clone. And it's, you know, cut off of a stalk. And uh, that's just starting to go. It should go out in the... Get some, get some more uh, sun go out here in the ground. Everything else is doing pretty good. My macadamia nut tree is doing great. Let's look at the bamboo here. All right, if we look down in here, this is some bamboo growing right there. This little, that little deal right there. That is some bamboo from seed from eBay or Alibaba. I can't, it should be another... I'm looking around, I don't see it. All right, well, I figured out what was wrong with that. It was trapped under a, uh, had a piece of plastic under it, so the root, root was trapped and it couldn't uh, get very big. So now that we've got that in there, hopefully that's going to start growing. I can't find, I think I got three seeds out of that bunch that, uh, that grew. But if you come over here, I got two other samples or more of stuff that grew from seeds that I got on uh, eBay or Alibaba. These ones were from eBay, I believe. This is supposed to be a giant bam. We've got standing water out here. This is all standing water. These are my two specimens I collected. These are five and six foot tall. And you can see now this one uh, column over here, this new one. You gotta be careful. This is inch of water right there. But this one, two new columns in here. This one's probably eight or nine feet tall now. And that's only like maybe a month old. This other one that's only a couple weeks old, probably like an inch and a quarter diameter already. And it's uh, just now hitting six feet tall. And those are both collected specimens from February and March of this year. So they've been in six months and they went from five foot to, uh, well, these new uh, combs coming up now are going to be probably 15 or 20 feet tall. So that's what you get from a, a transplanted, collected specimen rootstock. Uh, this one here, this piece, is probably nine feet tall or so. One skinny uh, specimen collected. Uh, you know, there was probably a 16 inch root ball on that. Same with this one in this pot. About the same size, eight, 10 feet. Uh, range, good size root ball. I put this one in the pot just to see if I could keep it mobile. And then if you come down and look at this row here, these are all uh, clones and collected specimens. And this is a uh, collected uh, new shoot. But I think I, I got this one a little bit young and I didn't get an actual growing branch on it. Now it's starting to get one, but it's been here three weeks and it's just beginning to get little nub growing there. I think if I would have had a little nub, bigger nub growing on there, it would have been better. But these here are clones from Jan or, uh, February, March that I got going. And these are this just put out a new spike. It's first spike off of the clone, six month old clone. This one's his first spike. That's probably been there a couple weeks longer. This one's only been there for uh, maybe four or five days ago. I noticed that. And if you look down the line here, this was a specimen I collected. This one here, which uh, this this spike just came out the other day. I noticed it. It's been up, or yeah, it's probably been about a five days or so, and it's already, you know, 16, 18 inches tall, and that's going to be a 20 footer. This one over here, this 
looks like it might have been a now it's too big to be a clone that that was a collected specimen not putting up a spike yet this one here is a little collected specimen and it put up a double spike this one was really tiny the other day but it's getting bigger than the first one so that's going to be a you know eight ten footer at least and look on down the line that's a another click this is a clone that has not put out a uh a shoot yet this year and then this is a double clone or wait what is this this is no that's a collected one or is that a clone that can't be a clone because it's putting out a second yeah that's a collected one and it didn't that put out one no this put out its second this is its second spike right there maybe that was a clone but anyways, this is a collected specimen, and I no just noticed this coming up. I mean, it's probably like three, four inches tall, and it's already a good size diameter, probably like an inch almost. So that's going to be a 10-footer coming out of here. And then I got another little clone here, and that hasn't put out anything yet. So some will put out more. Uh, often than the others now here's another this is a 10 footer i just collected three four weeks ago it broke off didn't have any branches on it much when i got it and it's got like three foot branches now so that thing's been growing about a foot a week almost and then my first really big uh post size three and a half inch 10 footer i cut it from a 32 foot shoot it's rooted in pretty good i've been watering it a lot and uh it's you know i mean it barely had three inch little shoots on there and they're five foot long now and that'll you know turn into a big bush on top and then eventually probably not this year but probably next year it'll start putting out uh more combs and it's uh a pretty good sized root ball in there so it's going to be be some pretty good sized shoots probably probably not three inch but then I got this little thing that was growing in my tub and I said well I got to get that in the ground and I noticed it had a little tiny spike on it just it was you know five eighths of an inch long so I planted it out here a few weeks ago and it's you know eight ten inches tall now so that's doing really good so those are all my collected specimens that I've and, and clone specimens, all the same kind from the same place that I've planted along here. And then my two bigger ones. You can see the spikes sticking up now. That's pretty cool. From a distance, you can make them out. And then if you come over here, I got some purple bamboo. This here is my purple, not, not this, this is grass here. Behind it, behind it, there it is. That's my purple bamboo. And it's actually, and here's another little one. This one I had out in the full sun, it wasn't doing nearly as good, so I figured I'd bring it over here, and actually I think it put, did it put up a new shoot? It put up something. It's looking a lot better now that it's moved over here, and just recently they're starting to look a little bit purplish, reddish. Let's go over to the big one here. This is where the big news is anyways. I planted these February. And it came up and it put up this shoot here, got three feet in a couple weeks, and it's finished out about five foot tall. Obviously, there's, there's some real tiny little leaves, kind of a really pretty looking little bush. There's this one's kind of dying off, it looks like. That was probably one of the first shoots out of there. I broke this in half. This these two clumps came from the same piece. But if you look in here, I got a new shoot there probably almost a foot tall I just saw that yesterday and it's a pretty good sized diameter so it's gonna be at least five feet tall maybe six feet tall and it's it doesn't really look as uh, pur there yeah it's a little purplish there it's starting to get a little color to the stems I figured maybe when it gets older and then well the new shoot it's kind of reddish and purplish all the way up so you know the, the comb sheaths on there are kind of purplish so you know that's a pretty good size shoot for a uh, this would be two years old this is uh 
this was a year old in February when I put it in the ground and uh, so this, that's its second uh, shoot this year and it's kind of the end of the season so it's going on its second year two years old so that's doing pretty good and then over in the distance I think you can just see my that was my first 10 foot piece that I collected and it grew a little bit more it's maybe 11 foot now and it's got two shoots I don't know if you can see them there but there's two shoots coming up right next to it that are going to be uh, probably at least as tall maybe a little taller and then I got another piece over here you can't really see too well it's uh yeah there it is that's about eight or nine feet tall focus focus there oh, there you go and uh so that's doing really well and then I've got another one over there that the bunnies kept eating and it's finally putting out some combs I got one little one down here oh that actually that's that looks like a pretty new doesn't look very big this is a, a cutting down here planted in the kind of out in the full sun in the field and yeah those are new it's a new little shoot there and that one's doing good and another specimen over there which has got about a three and a half four foot shoot on it coming up I'm not gonna go back there it's kind of wet there we are so yeah bamboo um, best way to grow it you can do it from seed but take it two years to get you know five footer or a year and a half to get a five footer if you're lucky and then you know the, oh I got one other one over here that's from seed we looked at this one that was uh, kind of we looked at this one over here that's uh, kind of out in the middle a lot of full sun I put this old piece of barbecue grill here to give it a little shade I think they were getting a little too much but that was a, a split in half uh, root ball from seed that I started and here's the other piece I moved this piece over here next to the house so it would have more shade I didn't want it burning up in the Sun and it seems like it's doing a little better so it gets a little filtered sunlight in the morning from that and then it gets shade in the afternoon from the house and it's a uh, sun down here in Florida full full Sun and summer it's pretty brutal and I think that's why all these are kind of burned up looking and these ones new fresh ones are kind of green and not looking too bad so hopefully we'll uh, and that's again that's from a seed that's what you get from your seeds for giant bamboo and that one's uh, a year old like the other one over there is but it's uh you know this one when I split it this one did a little better than that one and uh, it's got these little hairs around the leaves not too many but it's there you go I'm not quite sure what the, what species that actually is, but it's supposed to be a quote-unquote giant bamboo. So that's my take on it. You want some giant bamboo, the best way to get it is to get some rootstock and get some giant bamboo growing. And, uh, you know, dug that up. Yeah, I only dug this up probably about two months ago and put that in. So that's a pretty recent, yeah, July, I probably put that in. July, yeah, July or August. So, yeah, that one's doing really good. If you want giant bamboo, go get some giant bamboo and cut out a big giant chunk like this. Oh, let's look at the one more, my most recent one. All right, this is my... 15 footer I just got the other day and it's doing really good it only had maybe two inches two inch little nubs on it and they're well over a foot on that top one now so have having a little branch is better than just having a little nub that, that will take weeks to uh, turn into a branch 
but this is uh, rooted, rooted pretty solid in that pot. I can wiggle it around, but it's, uh, I think it's growing and rooting in there. You can see the little roots, new little green or white roots sticking out of the side of that. Again, we had an inch of rain last night. Oh, and my ginger, I got put a piece of ginger in there from the grocery store and it's coming up. It'll probably have a little shoot on there next week. But this one's looking great. Look at the size of that. Now that's some giant bamboo there. That's what you want. That's a four inch diameter right there. And then it's like a three and almost three quarters right there. So that's that's a living fence post. And that's gonna get a big bush on top and then you know there's a 80 pound root ball on this thing it's not just a shoot uh, like the last one we just looked at this is uh, that's rooted in already oh and today's the eighth day yesterday was Wednesday or no today's Wednesday so uh, uh, yeah that's uh, one week today that that's been harvested and in, in here so one week that grew from two inches to uh, a foot long not bad. I think the kiddie pool full of water helps too. When it, when it didn't rain the night before, I'd pour water on it like that. Let that kind of drain filter down through there. I got compost and worms in there too. So, yeah, that's how you get giant bamboo to grow. Good.